I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program, fuckers. And today I'd like to show you a beautiful car. I was, uh, I was went into Brisbane Vintage Watches and I was parking and I noticed this beautiful vintage, I thought it was a Jaguar Mark II, but it's a Daimler 250. And uh, this is a really interesting car. It looks like it's an Australian delivered car. It says the uh, on the Rego um, sticker. It says it's a 1963. And uh, doing a bit of research, the Daimler 250 was produced from 62 to 67, and uh, it was the last true Daimler car to feature a Daimler engine. And it had that wonderful small V8. That's right. It was a 2.5 litre V8 engine. And uh, I just absolutely love the Daimler 250. And i got to say, fuckers, I've actually had a friend many years ago who owned a Daimler 250. And uh, very, very cool. And, uh, you know, it's an interesting thing. I love it. It's, uh, it's a bit of an acquired taste because some Jaguar enthusiasts, I had a good friend who's a, uh, an E-type Jaguar, he was an E-type Jaguar owner, he's owned quite a few Jaguars, and he said he could never understand the Daimler 250 because the big thing about the Mark II Jaguar was that beautiful straight six Jaguar engine. And uh, I think he's missing the point a bit because I, I, I kind of, I got a soft spot for these old Daimlers. And uh, the thing is, what, what happened is that this, this was the same engine that was used in Daimler's sports car, the SP250. And uh, I got to say, in all honesty there, the, uh, the Daimler V8 250 was a more refined Jaguar 240. And uh, it, it was kind of, you know, it's, 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 an, odd, it's an odd vehicle. But uh, I got to tell you, I really do love, I really do love the Daimler V8. And there is rumours, I remember reading in Classic Car Magazine, they actually put this 250 V8, the uh, 2.5 litre V8, into an E-type Jaguar. And it started beating the 3.8 six cylinders. So they very quickly ditched that idea. Now, I don't know how true that is, fuckers. But, uh, yeah. But i got to say, this is a beautiful, beautiful car. And uh, looking at it, I, I think you'd say it's, it's, it's what you'd call an excellent restoration. And uh, a lot of money's been spent on this car. I love that blue, that metallic blue is gorgeous beautiful blue you know i say blue it's it's more of a dark majestic blue interior and uh, all the chrome work is is as you'd expect of a high standard and uh it's even got the the daimler badge on the bumper bar which is which is correct it's correct so uh I gotta say, this is a magnificent looking motor car and I just took a few snaps with my camera and uh, it's just an honour to see a lovely old girl like this just just sitting there in the car park and uh, what is this? This car here is 50, 51 years old. What a wonderful piece of British motoring history. And uh, this is when England actually made good motors. This, this was a groundbreaking car. The Mark II, which is what this body is. Uh, and uh, this is when Daimler. Daimler was a very much a prestige brand. And uh, it's so sad. So sad, fuckers. So sad. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think of the Daimler 250.